Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about probability blocks and how you can use probability in your experiences. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking on create experience. I'm just going to style my character scene really quick, maybe we'll look for something like dice, see what we can find, and this dice gif works great. Now we'll say, let's use some probability blocks. Alright, now I'm just going to go into the Add New menu and we'll add one of each block and then I will explain them to you. So Add New, we'll go into Probability, and we have four blocks here. So we've got Coin Flip, we're going to add the Coin Flip block. We've got Simple Probability, and we have Roll Dice and then check dice roll. Now these pretty much do the same thing, except this one is the actual check. This is just gonna roll a dice and return a number. So you'll have to use this along with some property blocks. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just use check dice roll. Okay, we've got our three blocks. Let's go ahead and add our three buttons. This one will say coin flip. This one will say simple probability, and this one will say check dice roll. All right, let's get started with the coin flip. So we'll link up the button to the block, and then let's take a look at the block. Now, as you know, a coin flip typically means a 50-50% chance. So 50% chance it's going to take one path, 50% chance it's going to take another path. And you can see that there are transitions here on the right-hand menu for heads and tails. So let's go ahead and add our two scenes for the branching paths. We'll have one here. I will drag that to the right a little bit. And we will have our second one, and I will drag that underneath this. So here we'll have a path that says one, and here we'll have a path that says two. Now let's link up the coin flip block. Four heads will go to one, four tails will go to two. And that's all there is to the coin flip block. It will have a 50% chance of going to either of these scenes. Let's add some buttons that say back to menu, and back to menu and we will link those back to our main menu. Now let's take a look at simple probability really quick. I'm going to link this button up to the block, and then inside the block we can actually set our probability. Now right now it is set to 0.5, 50%, so it's essentially the same as the coin flip block right off the bat. But the nice part about this block is that we can set it to whatever probability we'd like. Now you know that probability needs to be a value from 0 to 1. So that's going to translate into the percentage. So 0.5 means 50%, 0 0.62 means 62%. Let's go ahead and just quickly add maybe 0 0.25. So what this means is that it has a 25% chance to go to the successful path. That's the check we're running. The rest will have a chance for the check failed path. So 25% chance that it's going to go to the success path, 75% chance that it's going to go to the failure path. Again, these have similar setups. The coin flip block is always going to be 50%. Simple probability will start off at 50%, but you can edit the chances of success in the probability section. Now let's go ahead and talk about check dice roll. I'll link the button up to the block and if we look at the block here you'll see that it takes in a dice string. So for those of you that don't know dice notation all this means is you're going to use a number the letter D and then another number. So let's explore that. 1D6 means you're taking one die of six sides. That's what you're rolling. So there are six possibilities. If we change it to something like 3d5, this means that you are rolling three dice of five sides. So that will make your results at least three and max 15 rather than one through six. 
Hope that made sense. If not, you should check out our learn page to learn more about dice notation. So I'm gonna keep it with 3D5, and now we have a comparator directly underneath. So what are we looking for? You can have all the different comparators, so if you want at least a result of seven, you could do greater than seven, or you could do greater than or equal to seven. All you have to do is select the number and then make sure you have the greater than or equal to connected. So imagine your result is blank is greater than or equal to seven, and that's what it's going to check the dice roll for. It's going to roll three dice of five sides each and see if the result is greater than or equal to seven. So if it is greater than or equal to seven, then we're going to go to the success path. If it is less than seven, it's going to go to the failure path. Now, this looks like a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. I just want you to understand that the coin flip block is 50% chance probability. The simple probability block starts off at 50% probability, but you can set the probability. And the check dice roll block will roll dice using dice notation and then run a check for you. Now let's just add a final button to end the experience. I have a transition to end the experience. And then I will publish the experience. Here's the full view of it. Let's go ahead and click publish. We'll call this tutorial probability and publish. Now let me zoom in a little bit so that you can scan this QR code and test it out for yourself. Feel free to check it out. You may get more results going one way and less results going another, and that is the beauty of probability. I hope you learned a lot about how you can use probability in your experiences, and we will see you next time.